Good morning, folks. I will be participating in the Hour Without Power at 8.30 p.m. wherever you are in the world. Just turn off the lights. I've focused on the North Korea flashpoint a lot lately, but the newest oil sanctions are really a gun raised from the hip. It is a little early for sprites in the United States, but then again, as you will see at the end of this video, the weather is very weird. Having a look at quakes, this one has post-glacial rebound written all over it. In Central America, we had a landslide in Haiti, some moderate magnitude quakes in Mexico, and four volcanoes on alert. Watch my cursor here. There goes daybreak across the screen, and as night falls, you will notice significant updraft seen here as exploding clouds from one location. It has been seen as alleged plumes or other things, but it is always at sunset, and that's the key. As you will see here again, uh, this updraft is 100% due to the transition from inward energy during the day to outward at sunset. The bad weather means the electricity from the sun is rising. The former megaspot, which still does not have a number, is holding her breath. This massive region may get a boost in energy soon. Right now, Venus is the only planet tethered to that spot, and I can't tell you why the far right of this graph is what we see on the eastern limb, uh, but Venus is connected, Mercury is too far ahead, Earth is not connected, far from it actually, as you can see here, and neither is Mars. Now that could change soon as Saturn comes into play as well, and around that same time the full moon occurs just one day before the monthly close approach to Earth. Could get interesting for quakes as well. Here on the Lasco C3 you see two eruptions, there are actually three. The first two won't affect Earth, the filament eruption on the north central region and one over here on the edge of our decaying spot on the top left. But this last one is not on the Lasco, it's barely here on the SDO. This one is facing Earth and is in the process of releasing. Lastly, folks, if you have an extra few minutes, what follows is four straight minutes of silent lightning one mile away from me. Be safe, everyone. Where is the thunder? We have to hear thunder from that one. Well, let's give that a minute. I'm willing to bet that one we hear. I mean, could you imagine if you lived over there? I mean, that is really not that far away. That's maybe a mile away. And you can't hear a thing. Okay. This was going for like four minutes before I even turned the camera on. Seriously, what is...
That was the first sound of thunder I've heard. I mean, what would you think if you lived right there and you were just constantly flashing, flashing? Hey, let's go inside.